Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to walk through how to apply for a uh, travel authorization or electronic travel authorization for Korea. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I'm a neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take it out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, uh, ETA is nothing new, lot of countries issue and Korea, South Korea does it too. So we are going to walk through for their process. So in front of you, I have opened this official website of the government of the Republic of Korea. OK, and I have taken you for ETA uh, page. Before you proceed, let's see how it goes. Step one is to apply. Step two to enter email, enter passport information, enter application information, then you make payment. Then do then they do processing or assessment and finally result comes. There's a fee that is equivalent to 10,000 Korean currency that is around USA 9 to 10 USD. OK. So we are going to walk through it. And uh, you need this before you board a flight or ship to Korea. OK. And you can also do it through the mobile app. So mobile app will watch in a different video, but now let's go through this. So this is from the countries that are visitors from the countries that are visa free for Korea. OK. So you click here. OK. Select continent region where you are Americas and that is on your passport. As you can see, it does not have all the countries. Because these are the countries uh, whose citizens can avail this facility. So if you're Canadian, you can do that. Okay, right now it's even exempted for Canada, but I still select it because of some benefit. But my intention is to show you the process. Okay. They have asked for the data collection. I click on agree and I click on agree. Passport details. So you can read through that. I have just for the purpose of this video, I have clicked on that. Enter email, OK. OK, so email I'll send to create. Korea. Oh, first is asked to create the passport number. So I'll just put some sample. Sample guys, Korea. Okay. Next. Okay. Now it has asked for the passport information. Let me see if I can bypass this. I don't know. I'll try to create one. Let's see. May not be. A, I may not be able to proceed further if I not able to bypass this. But I, but at least I was able to give you an idea. Select your date of birth. Sample guys. Expiration date they have asked. Well, it seems I passed that step. Okay. It is asking if you have dual citizenship. I select no mobile phone number. Visited Korea before. If you have visited, yes. Purpose of entry, let's say tourism. So I select tour. That is asking individual or group. I select individual.
if that does not have details, none. Okay, I'll select none. That means if I can bypass this space, but if you are going there, you select these buttons and put the address where you'll be staying. Okay, contact number in Korea. Okay. Current job. Unemployed self office worker, whatever is applicable. Are you currently suffering from these diseases? I select now. Have you ever arrested, charged, or committed a criminal offense? Now it is asking a photo. Expected address. Okay. So if I click on English. Oh yeah, I won't be able to bypass this page, but uh, you have got the idea till now. Next is like check information, whatever you have given, make the payment and application is completed. And here you have to upload the picture. So now you have got the idea how to apply for this. So I hope you're going to like this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.